Hi everyone, welcome back to the Makeup Chair. Today I want to do my skincare update for you guys. All of my favorite products that I've been using time and time again. One of the products I've been using since 2011. So that just proves how good it is. I hope you guys enjoy this and let's just jump into it. I feel like Philip DeFranco all of a sudden. So starting off with the Neutrogena Pink Reef Facial Wash, if you've been following my videos for a while then you know all about this cleanser. I actually went back and I found this old video from 2011. I'm still using this cleanser. It is one of the best cleansers ever used and my sister uses it, my sister-in-law uses it and we were talking about it recently because she was saying I'm still using it after all this time. It just takes all of your makeup off, it deep cleans your skin, my skin has never been clearer since I've started using it and if I use it I don't get breakouts. Occasionally I get a breakout but only if I haven't used it. Honestly one of the best things ever and I cannot stress enough how awesome this product is. Seriously, girls, guys out there, stop getting all of those crazy products and just get this cleanser. Something new, but I have been using it a lot, is the retinal tonic. This stuff has changed my skin. So this is a toner. So I put it on a cotton pad and just wipe it over my skin after I've cleansed my skin. And this has just made my skin so much smoother, brighter. I feel like I look more awake. Um, I don't know, but I feel like my skin is firmer too. You do have to use SPF when you use a retinal toner because it will make your skin more sensitive to sunlight, so bear that in mind. And another similar product, which I talked about in a full video before, is the Giorgio Armani Soft Peeling Lotion. This stuff is once again a toner, but it's slightly different. It's very hydrating and moisturizing, but it's a toner. So it works very similar to the Pixi Tonic, but I feel like it's more hydrating. So if my skin's dry, I'll use this. If my skin's not, I'll use the Pixi. I wouldn't recommend using both though. I feel like that's overdoing it. Now, as far as moisturizers go, I love the Pastel and Mortar Hydrating Lightweight one. They have a slightly thicker one, I think, but I love the lightweight one. I think this is my third can. I love how easy it is to pump this out as well. So you literally just pump it down and a little bit of product comes out the top. So you don't have to scoop in to any jars. I've been using this for about four years now. I love it. If I do get any blemishes, I always keep these handy and I'm always giving them out to people as well. I'm like, you got a blemish? Here you go. This is a blemish treatment and it's like a little patch that you put on the skin and I feel like it protects the blemish so it stops it from getting irritated. It treats it while it's on there as well so it heals faster. And then I also feel like it heals it without drying it out too much. And next up, I have the Blistex Relief Cream. And I pretty much use this on my lips. It is essentially a lip treatment, but it works for so many other things too. Like it heals up the lips really quick, but it also works on like little cuts, little dry patches. My lips feel like fuller after I use it as well because it's like really hydrating, but it also treats the lips. Don't get the wrong one though. It has to be this packaging. This packaging is the one that works. Another one of my favorites is this butter mask for the lips. This is by Kiehl's. I've been looking for an overnight lip treatment forever. Came across this and oh my goodness, my lips feel amazing. But just hold on to that thought for a second because I wanna talk about my eye cream. This is by Clinique, it's all about eyes. Really hydrating, it's basically like a moisturizer but just that little bit thicker. My eyes get really irritated by most eye creams but I feel like I can get away with this and just a couple more but actually, I find myself reaching for that overnight lip mask a lot for my eyes, especially if my eyes are really irritated from doing makeup lessons. So I'll kind of swap in and out between these two, but that butter mask, so good for around the eyes. So those are my favorite skincare products, but I really wanna hear from you guys as well, particularly about that SPF, please. Please let me know of a really good SPF because I feel like I'm trying so many different ones and I don't really like any of them and they irritate my skin. So if you have a factor, like 30 plus recommendation, definitely let me know. Check out the other videos on the screen. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.